welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I am the dyer and podcaster behind Birch and Lily. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. I have a annual video, I guess, every year around Christmas time. I put up a video about what is in my travel project bag and that is what we're going to be doing again today. It's going to be definitely a more casual video. I don't have show notes, um, but I will go through everything that I have kind of packed up. We'll talk about it briefly and yeah, it should be pretty darn fun. I think what I'm going to do for the video is split it up into knitting and cross stitch portions and I will put a card. No, that's not a card. What is it? A chapter. I will make sure there's a chapter telling you when the knitting starts, when the cross stitch starts. So if you're interested in only one or the other, you'll know. But yeah, before we jump on in, there are a couple places you can find me on the internet. The first being birchandlilyfiber.com. And I will say there is a sale running on the website right now. Let's see, this video goes up on Tuesday. Uh, I don't know what day it is. The sale ends on November 30th at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're just hearing this, definitely run on over there. Hopefully you didn't miss it. Uh, but all the yarn is up to 15% off on the website. But yeah, find me on birchandlilyfiber.com. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok at birch.and.lily. And there's some other places. I'll make sure everything is linked down below in the description for you. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right on in. I think we'll start with knitting um, and I'll just show you the crazy amount of stuff I've packed. I've packed way too much. I know I'm not gonna use it all, but we're driving and I have space, so I'm gonna pack it. <laughs> so this is my knitting bag. This is what I have all the knitting stuff in. I think this is from Joann's. Um, not 100% sure, but okay, we'll just go from what I grabbed. This uh, bag is from the Striped Tangerine, I believe. This is my pair of vanilla socks that I'm knitting for my husband out of some mustache yarn. This is the Lando colorway. I think this will be what I'm knitting on in the car as we're driving. Um, the Progress Keepers from Random Fandom Bags. I love it. Uh, but yeah, I need to grab a mini skein for this or some scrap yarn for the heel because it's about time to put the heel into this pair of socks. But yeah, vanilla socks. Um, these are on 2.25 millimeter needles, US1. I think I cast on 64 stitches for these. Yeah, but like I said, I'm not going to. I just whacked myself with that needle. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on stuff. If you have any questions, though... I would love to answer them for you, so let me know. Uh, this bag is from Tiny Human Knits. This is one of my favorite Christmas bags. And I am knitting, what are these called? Plaid blanket socks. And I can't remember the designer, I'm so sorry. I will make sure that all of that is across the screen and it'll also be down, or I guess to the side now, in the description. I'll make sure you have all the information that you need. Um, I'm knitting these out of these two skeins. I'll show you what they look like in a second. This here is Bobbles from my website, Birch and Lily Fiber Co. There are a couple skeins of this and they are still on sale. Left in the shop. And this is just some black from Knit Picks. And I don't know what it's called. Um, let's see. Muse fingering in exquisite. I, how do I feel about this? It's a little scratchy compared to like my merino nylon base. What is the content of this? I keep pulling up a tag. Interesting. So it is a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, but I definitely find it a little scratchy. Um, nothing that I think will be a huge issue. You don't feel it as much once it's knit up. And I think once I give these a wash, I won't notice as much either. Um, but yeah. I had it kicking around, I don't know why, but it works perfectly for these socks. So these are the dog hair. I have a corgi and she is definitely getting her winter coat ready right now and there's hair in everything. Uh, I kind of feel bad for people that I'm gifting knitting to this year because they're gonna have dog hair knitting, but she's cute. <laughs> so yeah. We'll just, we'll deal with it. These are, like I said, the plaid blanket socks. I love how they're knitting up. 
And I put the heel in with that black yarn from Knit Picks. So I cast on 64 stitches for these 2.25 millimeter needles, US1. Uh, this is a two by two rib for the cuff. That is what is called for. Um, I think the slip stitch heel is called for, but I changed it up a little bit to the formula that works well for my feet. And yeah, now I'm just working, I think I have the gusset finished now. So once you hit, you can see here at the foot of the sock, you switch to just doing stripes across the bottom and then the plaid pattern on the top. Um, yeah, these have been flying. I love them a lot. Um, they are mosaic knitting. There's no color work at all. So there is no like trailing or floats. Floats is the word I was looking for. There's no floats in the knitting. It's all just slip stitches. So if you want something that gives you the look of color work, but without all the work of color work, I would definitely cast these on. Anyways, yeah. So a plaid blanket socks are coming with me for sure. Um, I don't wanna show this just yet, but just because it's not the beginning of December, but in this bag, which, where is this from? Jibby Rousseau's. Uh, that is where that bag is from. I have my Cozy Knitter Advent skeins for my Advent socks. I've done them, I think, for three years now, so this will be the fourth year. I've wound them up already, so I definitely don't want to give it away, but they are ready to go in this bag with a couple pairs of needles. I do knit these socks in tandem, so both pairs at the exact same time. Something that I do need to do, though, is pull a mini skein for this as well. Um, so I will make sure I set those two socks aside that I need minis for so that I have those. Uh, what should we talk about next? Sweater, maybe? I am going to bring along my pink fizz sweater. I don't know where this bag is from, I'm sorry. Um, I haven't showed this in a while and I haven't worked on it in a while either, which is fine. Um, so I'm split for the sleeves on this. You can see that better from this side and starting to work on the body. I'm knitting this out of Woolberry Fiber Co, both their Berry Sock Base and their Berry Surrey Base in the color Whisper. I think I'm knitting a size medium for this. Like I said, I'm not gonna get into it too much, but I'm going to bring this along as well because I would really like to get it done and I think it would be a cozy sweater to wear for Christmas. Um, again, I have a couple skeins behind me there on the desk right oh I'm bad at pointing right there um that I need to pack to bring with this as well because those will whoops, definitely be needed for my pink fizz so that is coming with me and let's see also going to bring my dotted ray shawl this is a pattern by Stephen West I am knitting it up out of an array of uh singles skeins, uh, single ply yarn from the Farmer's Daughter Fibers. And I haven't touched this since the last time I showed it, so it's still in the middle of the row, which is a little embarrassing. And it still has a pumpkin on it, which I guess is okay. I have to, so many things to do, um, pull some Christmas progress keepers for projects, but that is fine for now. You can kind of see the fade that's going on in here, but this is a really, really simple knit. There's not much thinking to it at all just mindless garter with the odd yarn over. So I think this will be a great project to work on with family around. So yeah, Dotted Rays is coming with me. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this not too long since I think most of the projects in here, I don't really think they have much progress on them. That's okay though, because the plan is to give them lots of progress, especially since we have a 32 hour drive ahead of us. So. Stephen West, Dotted Rays. Any information you'd like to know about it will be down in the description. And the final project that I actually have cast on is in this bag from Birch Grove. This is a pair of socks. I am using Explore Knits and Fibers. This is a sock set. I got it a couple years ago. Um, what are you called? This is Jingle Bells and Red Nosed Reindeer. Super cute, very festive. Um, I'm definitely feeling the festive knitting, especially with the knit along that I'm joining or make along, I guess, from Mulberry Fiber Co. They are 
it's really informal. I don't think there's any prizes or anything, but we're all just getting together and knitting Christmas socks, I believe. I'll put the hashtag across the screen, but I believe it is the Great Woolberry Christmas Sock Make Alone. It'll be on the screen. Anyways, so this is one of my cast-ons for that. The goal is to basically just have a really big collection of Christmas socks by the end of it. And it's three years long, so I should be able to do that. Um, but what I have cast on, oh dear. I am so sorry. I don't remember the name of this pattern. I will put it across the bottom of the screen. Um, I believe it's named in a different language, so I don't know if I would do a good job at pronouncing it anyways. I'd probably butcher it and feel bad. Uh, but this is the pattern that I have cast on. It has bobbles and just, I don't know, it kind of reminded me of Holly in a way. I hope you can see what's going on here. Um, but I just really enjoy this. It's definitely a pattern that I have to pay attention to, but I'm okay with that. So this I cast on, I think 64 stitches for this on 2.25 millimeter needles. I know that for sure. Yeah, it's been really, really fun. So that is my first Christmas sock cast on that is coming with me. And yeah, I have really, really been into clearing my knitting needles lately. So that's all I have cast on, but I do have yarn on standby. So I thought I would show you that as well. <laughs> so this is another Explore Knits and Fibers sock set. I think I wound this up for last Christmas and it's been sitting since then, which the cakes look a little messy, but that's okay. Um, so I would love to cast this on. What are you called? Under the Mistletoe and Cabernet. So the main skein here, the 100 gram skein, is under the mistletoe and this is cabernet so i'd love to cast something on with this i really don't have ideas of patterns yet but i'm just being prepared with yarn <laughs> um something else that will be coming with me though too as well is my woolberry fiber co advent obviously i haven't started opening it yet because it's not december but two days and I can open it and I'm really excited. So that'll come along with me as well. I can't remember if the advent this year has like a pattern included with it to knit up with your skeins. So I don't know what I'm gonna do on that end of things, but that is coming with me for yarn as well. And then I remember someone asking me once if I was sponsored by Woolberry. I am not. I would just say it's literally my favorite yarn company. Um, and in my hand here, which I'm trying to organize, is a large collection of Christmas themed Woolberry Fiberco yarn. So this is all what I think I'm going to bring. I really want to use my Christmas yarn up. I might bring, I'm looking, I have a holiday yarn drawer over here from a couple different brands. Um, one of the skeins in front is from Bull and Vine. I might bring that as well. Not sure. <laughs> but this one here, oh, it's blowing out a little bit. But this is called North Pole. I think she was featuring it in her stories recently and I believe beginning of December to mid-December they're gonna have this available for pre-order so if you love this like I do definitely check Woolberry Fiber Co on Instagram um, I'm not sure what else will be available I think it's a, a favorites collection of kind of all the favorite skeins from the past year so there's a whole bunch of things that'll be in that sale tiny plug for my favorite brand. Uh, this one here is called Flannel Pajamas. I think this was from an ad. One year I didn't do a mini skein advent. I did a four Sunday advent. So four different skeins on Sunday, like every week leading up to Christmas. And I think this was from that. I don't know what year though. I used to be really good at writing on all these skeins, like what club they came from or what year. And I have become quite lazy with it. Uh, this is another set called Swirly Twirly Gumdrops. Oh, I wish it wouldn't blow out. It's a really pretty pastel purple mini. And then like sagey greens and all sorts of gumdrop sort of colors. That's kind of good. Very cute. 
not so traditional Christmas, but still Christmassy. Um, this, I believe, was also from that Sunday Advent. This is called Sweet Treats, or Holiday Treats, sorry. And this was from an Advent, too. This was the Day 25 from one of them. I'm sorry that I don't know where they're from, but it's called A Very Berry Christmas. This is, this says Advent 2020. So this was last year's like Christmas skin for the advent calendar. It is called In My Dreams. Very pretty. Like terracotta-y. Beautiful. Love it. And finally on my lap I have Tangled Lights. This is labeled as the, goodness this is old, that's embarrassing, January 2018 Winter Three Month Club. This was one of the skeins for that. Tangled Lights. So that is the extra yarn I'm bringing along because I know if I'm going to want to cast anything else on it's going to be a pair of socks. So that will give me lots of options for socks. So that is everything I am packing for knitting. Shall we jump into cross stitch? So I got this really cute bag recently from Hobby Lobby. I was holding all of my cross stitch. So yeah, let's just dive into this. Um, and I will, this shouldn't be too bad to edit. So I'll make sure I have photos on the side too of what every project looks like finished, be it a knitting project or a cross stitch project, just so you know a little bit more about what I'm doing. This bag is from Pretty Southern. And this project is a Savior's Praise by Shakespeare's Peddler. This one's been a couple years in the making, but I will bring this along. This one is definitely not a talking to family project. There's a lot of color changes in it, but it's so pretty and I just, I enjoy working on it every once in a while. So that will be coming along. How did I have this folded? There we go. <laughs> and I am using the called for fabric and threads for that. I believe it's Beach Brew and I'm using a 40 count and then all the threads that are called for. A mix of overdyes and anchor threads. Next project, also another pretty southern bag. This is Jane Cowie. It's a pattern by the Scarlet House. And I'm stitching this on 46 count cream. And this is where I am. I'm using all the call for silks for this project. And I just love this one too. I really, really, if you've been around for a while, you'll know this, but uh, I really love stitching samplers. There's just something about them that's so pretty. So Jane Cowie is coming along with me as well. I think the last time we did a road trip, I started Jane Cowie on the drive. So this one has come full circle, I guess. What are you? This bag here is from Made by Mama Joan. And this is... This is definitely a Teresa Kogut pattern. Heaven in Nature, that's what it's called. I am making up all my own colors for this. I pulled, or I purchased all of the DMC threads that the pattern called for, and then I went through kind of what was in my stash and pulled colors that were similar. Um, so there's, I've pulled some color in cotton and some Victorian motto. And then yeah, if I couldn't find something that matched the DMC in my stash, I'm just using the DMC. Um, I'm not stitching this on the called for fabric. I'm stitching this on 40 count mallow. And this one is kind of Christmassy, so I thought that would be a fun pick. Again, another sampler. I do love this pattern. My only complaint is the way it is written, usually on a cross stitch pattern, so it's all a chart. And then on the edge of every chart, where it connects to the next page, usually there's a couple stitches in gray from the next page so that you know like as you move along okay here's kind of where I was on the last page does that make sense anyways 
This chart doesn't have that, so there's a little bit of fiddling trying to figure out as you move from page to page, but it's so pretty. And there's a raccoon later on on this that is just absolutely adorable. And <laughs> I cannot wait to stitch him. Here, let me. I have to show it, even though I'm gonna insert a picture. That's my, um, from my fabric. But do you see that little raccoon? He's so cute. So I kind of want to keep moving my way along because I'm working in this corner right now, but I want to do that raccoon really bad. <laughs> so I do like, the one thing I do like about this is like it's definitely Christmas because this is lyrics from a Christmas song, but it doesn't look too Christmassy. So I feel like when I finish it, I could get away with leaving it up all year. So this is coming along. I've pulled a lot of Christmas projects. Because I find like I really don't want to work on Christmas projects until it's Christmas. So that's what I'm doing. Um, oh, do I have fabric for this? Oh no, I should do that before I forget. This will have to be left out as well. This I haven't started yet. Um, this is, oops, I didn't put this thread away. Uno momento, por favor. Okay, so this is something I might start. I have pulled the call for threads for it. So it is a mix of NPI and gentle arts threads. Um, but since I don't have this started, let me just pull up a pattern quick. This is a Yuletide Welcome from Thumb Street Samplers. I love um, samplers. To, uh, with houses on them. So this is just another really pretty one that I would love to start. Sorry, I keep looking at my monitor. <laughs> I have found that now that I've started recording every two weeks again, which I love and it's been working great and it's been really good for me, but I forget that I shouldn't look at my monitor. <laughs> so I apologize. Um, but this I'm going to leave out so I make sure to grab some fabric for it. I definitely have options. It's just... <gasps> A matter of picking which option I like the most. So this is coming with me and let's see home for the holidays book. Uh, this is not the pattern though. What am I doing out of this book? Can't remember the name. Christmas Garden uh, by Blackbird Designs. Can I show this? Let's see. We'll go like that. <laughs> this is Christmas Garden. So I did cast this on or start this last year. I don't think I've done too much on it. But again, like I said, I don't really feel like working on Christmas stuff until it's Christmas. Oh, I got more done than I thought. Um, so I'm pulling all the Christmas stuff out again now. So this is 40 counts sheep straw. I am using all the call for threads. I believe it's mostly gentle arts. But that is where I am on Christmas Garden. Um, I'm sure you'll have seen the picture on the screen by now, or I showed it, but I think I might cut the words off at the bottom of this. Like it says Christmas Garden across the bottom. I don't know if I wanted to say that, so I might get rid of that. Um, but that is something I will figure out later. Anyways, uh, the bag that this is in, this is from the Sagan Stitch. Just another nice vinyl front bag. My favorite type. Uh, two more, two more. One of these I might finish before we leave. Um, let's start with that. This is Jenny Bean's Christmas Sampler from Shakespeare's Peddler, and I am very close to finishing it. Um, and I'm actually gonna cut a little bit off of the bottom of it, which will make it finish even faster. But that's where I am. I think I could finish this tonight, to be honest. Um, we'll see. I think, I think I can get it done before we go though. Like I said, call for threads. Um, for this project, I think I said this last year, but it's coming to mind again. I think I could have got away with using just DMC. There is so little of this floss used in the project that I feel like purchasing all the overdides is kind of a waste. Um, it's just such a small piece, especially since I'm doing it on a 40 count linen. I'm doing 40 count mallow for this, I think. Let's see. Yeah, 
40 count mallow. Um, but here it is. So what I'm thinking of doing is cutting off the bottom here that says Rock Gladly by Jenny Bean. I don't feel like it. I changed, I don't know if you saw, I'll show you again quickly in a sec. But I changed the year on it to say 2021. So I don't feel like saying that Jenny Bean stitched it is worth it. So I think I'm just gonna cut it off after that box at the bottom there. I like it like that. I think it'll look cute. Um, and I'll just carry around the border. So yeah, not much left to do on that. Looking forward to finishing it. I think it's really cute. Um, give me one second and I'll show you the bag that it's in. The other thing that would be nice if I finish this project, this is a Christmas bag. And I have one Christmas project down there in an Easter bag. So it would be nice to move that Easter bag project into a Christmas one. This is from Pretty Southern again as well. I just thought it was really cute. And finally, I have my last Pretty Southern bag. I love floral. I don't know what it is. This is from Plum Street Samplers as well. I can never remember the name. My early days. So all of the call for threads here. I'm stitching this on 40 count stone. It's not what the pattern calls for. Don't ask me what the pattern calls for. But this is where I am. That bottom portion of the border has to be ripped out. I messed it up. Um, but I'm kind of just working on stuff, then ripping some out, working on stuff, then ripping stuff out trying to treat myself. <laughs> so I will be bringing this along as well. This I also started the last big road trip we did. I was in a cross stitch mood then. I'm kind of more in a knitting mood now. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that is my plan for cross stitch. Um, I did rush through that a little bit, I know but if I talk too much about it, it will go on for hours. So if you do have any questions, of course, feel free to ask me down below in the comments. As well, if you haven't checked out the website yet, make sure you do so. On Sale Yarn is fantastic. At least that's how I feel. So even if you just check it out, that means a lot to me and it helps a lot. Um, as well, if you liked what you saw today, please consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button. You can also turn on notifications to know exactly when I upload. Um, my schedule is usually every two weeks, um, but we'll see what happens over Christmas. I never promise anything. Actually, no, the past couple years I have, um, but this year I am not going to promise anything. Um, my plan kind of in my head is to do Vlogmas, but like only upload a couple videos of all of it combined. Um, but at the same time, if I'm spending time with family, I don't want to pull out the camera and have it in their face. So it could happen, it could not. You might not see me for a month. You may see me once or twice, we'll see. I'm just gonna wing it and go that way because family is the most important thing to me. So yeah, I think that is all I have to say. Thank you so much for joining me again on the channel. I know there's a lot of new people. I should have done this at the beginning, but if you're new here, wow, you're amazing, thank you. Um, I definitely had an influx of followers over the past little while, so it was really exciting. Um, made my week. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to keep rambling if I don't end this. So thank you for joining me. And I will see you, I would say in two weeks, but I'll see you when I see you. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and or whatever you celebrate. Wonderful holidays. And I will see you soon. Bye.